Passing by one day at a time Walking on through this crazy life I just thought that I would let you come see A piece of this world according to me variety of situations. Do you ever wonder, is it just me? I have a sense that I'm not the only one who has those moments, feeling like her opinions or ideas are something so totally out there. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Farrell. This show will not only focus on the good, but also highlight the many businesses, charities, teams, and human beings who actively try to make a positive difference in whichever community they find themselves. Be inspired. Be hopeful. But, most of all, be entertained. The mothership of your body. Decision maker. Feeling holder. Our brains, literally involved in every action, thought, feeling we experience. Unlucky number 13. Yep, that's what a live day is coming up for me next month. 13 years since my life nearly ended. Marching forward. Here we go. I feel like I've been planning this episode of my show since before my show was even um, more than just on my vision board or just dancing around in my brain. Um, and Taryn, I know you can appreciate the beauty and power of a vision board. I would just like to introduce uh, my viewers to these fantabulous females I have sitting here in the studio with me. We have um, Taryn Barlow and Kelly Buttiglieri. And I know both of them through the Brain Injury Association of Massachusetts. And I'm going to toss it over to you, Taryn. Sounds good. Toss it to Taryn. Snaps to that, Bobcat. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Um, this is such a big moment to be a local girl, yeah. sitting with another local girl yeah. uh, during Brain Injury Awareness Month. And um, we knew each other before either one of us were ever part of that community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can, you can uh, give the little uh, background on that yeah. if, you, if you'd like. We, well, we come from the small world of lifeguarding yeah. together. I, I believe Ryan and I were trying to figure it out that yeah. I might have taught her yeah. you lifeguarding. Were one of, you were one of the, um, <laughs> like the CPR first aid mm -hmm. lifeguarding with uh, the one and only Peter Filosa up at Milford High School. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, my brother is closer to Ryan's age. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm older than Ryan. Um, <laughs> Travis. <laughs> my brother is close to Ryan's mm -hmm. age and Courtney is between us. Yep. So thanks They're for having that. me. Thank you for being here, Taryn. And Kelly? Yeah, um, my name is Kelly Budaleri from the Brain Injury Association. Um, I've known uh, Ryan for, we were just trying to figure it yeah. out, um, mm -hmm. over 10 years now, more, yeah. well over 10 mm -hmm. years, and we met at golf, our golf tournament many years ago. Her right. family would come, and Ryan and her mom would be volunteers yeah. there, and I remember having many conversations with oh. both of you as we were <laughs> at the uh, the. What's it called? The, the, the Vegas, Vegas hole. The Vegas the hole. Vegas. We Feeling lucky, duckies. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> she's been a great uh, volunteer for our organization for many years. Thank and, you. you know, we can just, now that things are open and yeah. we're just. Uh, Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> um, hoping you'll, we'll have you back in the office like you've been before. So you've been a great uh, volunteer. Absolutely. Us. And I think that's one of the biggest things and you you two gals can speak to this more than I can having worked in this field for so many years 
Um, but I think that's one of the biggest things with brain injury. It's that feeling of being alone. And I love that the BIA has a, a campaign or a slogan each year. And this year it was not alone in brain injury. And then a previous year it was unmasking brain injury. But focusing on this year's is not alone in brain injury. And I refer to all of the, as I call them, my uh, walking, talking, um, dancing um, earth angels whom I've met through all these years and all the different spaces and places that um, this injury has brought me. Um, they're the most incredibly tremendous souls whom I never would have even uh, known if I hadn't been injured. And one of the biggest blessings through the BS of my TBI. <laughs> so um, I would like to... Um, Kelly, pick your brain a little bit. You know I had to go there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> Elba, Elba. Um, I would just love to pick your brain a little bit about um, the Brain Injury Association of Massachusetts because had it not been for the BIA MA, there, there wouldn't have been one in the whole entire country. So That's right. Take it yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The, well, the Brain Injury Association of America is where it all started, yeah. and it was by a local family um, in, in Framingham uh, who, with a group of other parents whose kids had all, you know, late teens, early 20s adults, mm -hmm. um, had, all, had had their brain injury. And they mm -hmm. sort of re reached the point where they needed more care and the yeah. care wasn't there so this group of families got together and that's how uh, the Brain Injury Association of America started and the Brain Injury Association that of Massachusetts is um, was one of the first state yeah. organizations and um, the per main person who helped to start it is still on our board yeah. uh, she's 88 87 Marilyn, plus Marilyn, Marilyn Spivak. Spivak and she's a real go-getter and she yeah. you know I saw her a couple of months ago yeah. and she just uh, has her heart and soul into this but this is how our organization all got started yeah. many years ago and we've uh, blossomed from there and that's more than awesome blossom <laughs> um, and Taryn you you kind of had a more of a roundabout way into this world of TBI. I would love for you to tell tell us all about that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, my journey to becoming a professional in this community um, has been just beautifully led. Um, I wanted to be a speech pathologist mm -hmm. since I was in eighth grade. Or super speechy, <laughs> as I refer to you, Earth Angels. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I will say that my love for working with adults blossomed um, as my uh, non-enjoyment for working with pediatrics. Because yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. when people think of speech pathology, they often think of children. Yeah. And um, I loved neuro and all things brain and worked through a variety of locations uh, throughout Massachusetts mm -hmm. as a speech pathologist. And the pandemic hit, and I have two beautiful children at home, and one of them actually um, was born with a, a congenital abnormality uh. where his esophagus wasn't connected, and we didn't know how high risk he would yeah. be during the pandemic. So yeah. I left my job to become a tech assistant and a preschool teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then kind of had the notion to branch out on my own. So I started my business, The Well Brain, mm -hmm. and it is there that I get to utilize my skills as a speech pathologist, but in a way that's different, yeah. and it's cognitive health coaching for yeah. individuals who have sustained brain injury. Mm -hmm. um, all along this journey, um, I had started a support group for individuals who had experienced stroke mm -hmm. um, at my previous employment, and the pandemic left that group with nowhere to yeah, go. Totally in limbo. And 
the BIA gave me a home. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I have been facilitating a support group with them since the pandemic. Yeah. And I will say that support group work is by far my most favorite thing. Um, because the community, like you yeah. said, um, the, the feeling of being alone yeah. and like you're going through this alone um, is very quickly dissipated in a support group. Mm -hmm. And the BIA does an incredible job with a multitude of support groups. Really and do. I'm super lucky to get to facilitate one of them. So. I, can I add one yes, thing for the support please. groups? Is that um, I guess one of the positives that we can say that have happened mm -hmm. with um, the pandemic is that individuals that say are down the Cape can yeah. meet with ki people that are yeah. in Worcester or the western part of the yeah. state. So it's um, with doing these virtual support groups. So it's something that you know we are exploring to try once the support groups open up again and are in person yeah. to do mm -hmm. some aspect of it still being virtual because it's just opened it up to so many more people. I love that. Yeah. It's, and that's another... Um, Another one of the biggest things that I and I know my fellow survivor siblings, no matter how young or how old, again, it's you're not alone. And out in the real world, whatever, when, because mm -hmm. looking at me, you, you can't tell that there's, you can't tell that I um, was ever brain injured or... Mm -hmm. Uh, nearly died or the number of surgeries I've had but it's no indication of and again I'm speaking for myself and all my survivor siblings no indication of what we go through on a daily basis mm -hmm. on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and that's I think another one of the blessings through the BS of my uh, TBI mm -hmm. is that I become much more um, mindful and meditative. And because before my TBI, I, I used um, yoga and breathing as a way to stretch out before um, beasting it out on the soccer field <laughs> or um, getting all amped up for a basketball team to cheer for um, my school's teams. Mm -hmm. And I have found that, and again, I've um, been uh, blessed enough to um, participate in a mindful march through uh, Love Your Brain Yoga Foundation, mm -hmm. and um, I can't sing their pra praises loudly enough, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's so much more than just the brain, and we are all so much more than just our injuries, right. and I think... The BIA, along with you, Taryn, do a in, an incredibly beautiful job really hammering home those points that your TBI does not define you. Absolutely. You define it. It's not what happens to you. It's how you, how you react to what happens to you. Mm -hmm. That's what makes you who you are. Yeah. And it's about the betterment of the community and everything, too. Yeah, I was um, speaking with you recently, and I think the, the phrase was, mm -hmm. this is a community you didn't choose to join, want yeah. to join, but here we are, yeah. and who are the people that are supporting this community as either survivors yeah. or um, advocates yeah. or educators? Or therapists. Therapy. Or, yeah. and, um, Nurses, everyone. It's a very passionate community Yeah, yeah. Um, that has their heart in having people live well. <clears throat> after sustaining brain injury. Yeah. Yep. And you are one of those people. I say and I sign. <laughs> Thank you. And um, I, of course, brought my, um, as I uh, am quite silly how I refer to it, my TBI swag bag. <laughs> um, and I cannot wait to uh, get back in the school so that I can go around speaking through um, BIA MA's uh, Think Ahead Prevention mm -hmm. Program for the school ages, and especially for our um, Heads Up Concussion Awareness Program, because mm -hmm. that's where my heart lies, obviously. But, so as I say at the end of my speech, 
Um, I was able to swap out my bedazzled um, crash helmet. Um, yeah, you can, you can zoom in post-production. Yes, um, my bedazzled uh, crash helmet, autograph signed with my, oh, I'll put you there, even if you follow up. See how, see how sturdy that was, that's fine. <laughs> with my equally bedazzled graduation cap. So, earn that. Mama Bear and I crafted that together. Um, but, again, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones, and that is directly tied into um, Mindful March and um, the Brain Injury Association of Massachusetts. And without that incredible organization, mm -hmm. I never would have been connected to you to you two fantabulous females. I'm just throwing out a bunch of my Ryanisms at you too, so. I love all of them, the speech yeah. pathologist. <laughs> I was gonna say speechy, super speechy Taryn. I think you can. I love those. Yeah. And I can imagine you worked hard to utilize those again. Yeah. Haven't heard them in so long, so it's great. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> Snaps to that, Bobcat. <laughs> Fix my, yeah. Love it. Not like I need to fix this mic. My, my voice carries, as I've been told. But you, oh my goodness. So is there anything else um, that you would like to share while we, while we have the studio? Well, should we talk about conference? Yeah. Okay. Why not? So next week is our 41st. Annual wow. conference. Uh, we are back in person after three years. Woo, thank woo, God. Woo, woo. And it's going to be on um, Wednesday, the 29th, March 29th, will be a, kind of like a half day session yeah. with four sessions that day that everybody will attend at the same time. Afterwards, that evening is going to be a special documentary that's um, going to be shared. It's called uh, The House We Live In. It's by the O'Donnell family that's done it. They're a local family from Lowell, and everybody's really, really excited Fantastic. to see that. And then the 30th is our all-day conference, and yeah. um, it's going to be um, a full-blown day, uh, uh, three different sessions, and uh, we're you know really excited about doing it. So. And the refreshments are always... Yeah. <laughs> Ma, manja. Well, this is my first time going in person, oh, so now Karen. I will. Yeah, it's fun. Come, come with a come with a hungry belly. All yeah. right, I will. I it, will bring a hungry it, brain and a hungry yeah, a hungry tummy. There we wear go. Good shoes. I will not wear my stilettos. You to will conference. not wear those, those fancy feet. Yeah, that's all I say. No, no. Uh, conference. There's. Uh, got so excited when I received the list of presentations in the mail and mm -hmm. the range of topics that are covered. Yeah. Um, across brain injury experience and yeah. rehab and mm -hmm. um, people's journeys and stories yeah. and oh, the so key awesome. the keynote speaker is going to be Carol Starr. She is a, I love Carol Starr. Oh she's my She's a goodness. brain injury survivor from Maine. Um, I met her a couple of weeks ago down in Washington yeah. D.C. I saw her speaking there. And she Was this your first time meeting her? First time meeting her. Oh my god! I've I've, I've, I've her, seen her many she's times. She's both a on. delight and such a light. Yeah, she's oh, she's right. going to be great to see. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be also be giving out um, her latest book. So everybody who attends the conference will be getting her book. Oh, my so. goodness. My my bookworm self is doing doing the worm, like, right now, like, <laughs> oh. big time. And I guess we're also going to have an opportunity where um, she can sign it for you, too. Well, so Ryan and I will worm. be in line. Um, bookworms. <laughs> I'm not wearing my specs, so I'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could never get enough of a good brain book. Oh so. my god, that's that's exciting. Yeah, excited that's very exciting. It. Snaps to that. Who? Bobcat. Bobcat. <laughs> we'll try it again. Snaps to that. Who? Bobcat. Bobcat. Shirley <laughs> Temple. <laughs> oh, you dolls are just awesome. Blossom. Um, well, I want to say and sign. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. And. I love you both. Oh, thank and you. Thanks. My heart, soul, and mind are very, very happy and it's filling and fulfilling. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Ryan. Thank you. <laughs>
never knew how tough it'd be to reclaim my own life. Traumatic brain injury, oh, have a lot of strife. I say, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we got a fight. Yeah.